Hello everyone and welcome back to Hogwarts Mystery. In the last one, we actually left and arrived at the borough. A whole new area, at least for me. I don't know if you can do it in later years, I do not know. But at least in this event, we can. So, I am so excited. And I'm actually curious about one thing. Can I go outside? Okay, never mind. <laughs> Uh, uh oh. Go. <laughs> oh, it's a part of the. Ah! Oh my! Oh! Maybe we actually have it as a, a permanent thing now. Could it be? C could my eyes deceive me? Oh, let's go to. Oh, maybe not because the car is as the car is. Okay, so it's a special area which I had hoped for. And that's really, really nice because. I'm so happy right now because it takes you out of just the school area and gives you more experience in the Harry Potter world or the world of magic and wizards and a J.K. Rowling's worlds. So it's so much interesting to do. So it means that in future we might actually go on adventures in other countries. We might actually visit Bo Batten school. Stuff like that that is possible now since this has kind of opened the door, which is so exciting. Um, but I'm just gonna, before we do anything, I'm just gonna just take a little bit to just enjoy looking around because, of course, just making a special little extra is, of course, to just keep a little respect and then have a little look-see around. Oh, someone is magically knitting over there. Is that for us? Oh, a, a scarf would actually be lovely. I love scarves. Um, but yeah. It seems so cozy. Utterly cozy. And we're just standing in the kitchen going, Hello? Is it okay that we are here? Oh, this is so amazing. Like, it's just small details and small joys that always takes me over the edge of happiness. That's true. So, yes. Um, Let's go in here. And we get a turnaround. Yay! Oh. Oh, I think she dropped a mask. Cooking or like magic seems so much easier. I could use some of that in my household. <laughs> Everything is so magical. Well, we had to battle bishops, fix a broken car. But it was worth it to finally make it to the borough. Yeah. I love that they put in extra details that, that it's not just a blank slate, quote-unquote. That there's actually more details in it, and there's working stuff, and there's put a little effort into it. Which is very really nice. We're even here in time to enjoy Christmas together with the Weasleys. Feel free to make yourself as our home, Ray and Marula. That won't be hard. Just look at this place. Handmade blankets everywhere, dishes washing themselves, which is something I could definitely use. <laughs> Are those your crayon drawings on the wall, Jolly? Oh, uh, oh. Mom likes to save everything we make. But where are all the Christmas decorations, Jolly? Shouldn't Mom and Dad have put them up by now? I've been too busy taking care of the young kids to get to it. Well, lack of decorations aside, what do you think to think of the borrow? It's cozy, it's messy, it got personality. In my perspective, it's cozy because it could actually look like an old Scandinavian building, like just really old, but you kind of still see them kind of thing around. And you can go in and experience it, and oh. I like elder buildings. I really love them. So let's, it's cozy. It's so cozy and welcoming here. Like the place is giving me a warm hug. It's really nice. <laughs> now might be a good time to mention that mom's a hugger. Okay, run away, Marula. 
if by cozy means small, then I agree. But I suppose it's nice here, despite the size. Well, she might actually grow up on a mansion like Dragon Malfoy, so this is different for her, of course. Sure, it's a little cramped, but the nine of us make do all right. Speaking of which, where are your parents? Sounds like they're making their way downstairs now. Yeah, we're in for a scolding now, aren't we? Mom and Dad can't know we use fly Dad's flying car, so keep that a secret, alright? Bill! I thought I heard your voice. And you're home with guests, no less. But how is this even possible? Your letter said the blizzard had trapped you at Hogwarts. That blizzard was so powerful, we figured you have been snowed in for the days. We were trapped, but we really wanted to spend Christmas at the borrow, so we, uh... We flew on our brooms. You flew all the way here? Really? In this cold? You haven't done something dangerous, have you, William? Now, Molly, everyone seems to be all right. It, it, and isn't it a lot, William? Who is William? Oh, never mind. I got confused. Isn't it lovely to have the whole family home for, uh, in time for Christmas? Hmm. Not to mention, an inquisition is no way to welcome our guests. Of course. My apologies. It's nice to see you again, Ray and Verona. I hope it's all right that I came without warning. Of course not. The more the merrier. I really like her... her... I really, really like her scarf around her neck. I really want one of those. It's a miniature pony show of some sort. I can't remember what they're really called. We have a Danish word for it, but I don't know um, what the English word is. And thank you for letting us spend Christmas in your home. I haven't had a real family Christmas in ages, so it means a lot to me. I'm not too, I'm not about getting all mushy about it as bright, but I'm grateful too. With all of you here, you feel like Christmas can truly begin. Then why don't we get the festivities started? How about I do some Christmas baking for you? Hagrid taught me his recipe for Christmas treesicle fudge. I'm sorry, dear, but I'm afraid I used the last part of my baking ingredients with my last batch of cookies for the kids. Oh well. How about we turn on the wireless and listen to... Celestina Warbreck's Christmas broadcast. I even learned I shunned the heart right out of me so I could sing along. That's a perfect favorite of mine to sing as well. I always loved, I would have loved to join you. But unfortunately for us, the broadcast is already over. Ahem. Now it's her putting him in his place. Oh, did I say unfortunately? I, I, I mean, unfortunately, of course. Why don't we just cope down, chop down our Christmas tree together before it gets too late, Dad? I'm sorry, Bill. I thought you weren't going to make it, so I went ahead and found the tree outside. I suppose we missed more of the Christmas Eve than I realized. Oh, I'm sorry, Bill. Because of the blizzard. And the delay I caused didn't help either. Perhaps. But you're here now, and that's what is most important. Now, I have just one thing everyone to lift everyone's Christmas spirit and bring us all together. It's time to decorate the borough for Christmas. Yay! We can put up stuff! 
Yay, let's do that. Let's do that. Hopefully. Oh, it's another eight hour one. Wow. They went in for that. I thought it was going to be a six hour one, but hey, another eight hour one seems kind of logical. Um, but first of all, I'm just going to see how much there's left. It's two of... There's only three in this one. So it's almost over. I thought there would be four. So we're probably not gonna, gonna get a battle in this one. It's the first event that we won't have a battle. I'm surprised. Oh man. I'm so surprised. But let's just get started with decorating. Oh, it seems so fun. Look at it. And this is where I'm really just going to enjoy the time and maybe the episodes are going to be a little longer than I expect them to be. But I'm just going to enjoy and savor these moments. Because we're not sure if we're going to get back to the barrel when this event is over. It might be cut out again. Who knows? But I really want to enjoy this just for a second. Let's work together. Sometimes we keep Christmas decorating up long after Christmas. We actually have a Christmas song in Danish where it basically goes Christmas last till Easter or basically to the next uh, Christian event basically because Easter is another part of holidays, official holiday days in Denmark. But there is a Christmas song in Danish where they say that Christmas lasts till Easter. And in some cases that actually might be right if you decorate and put everything up, you'll still find Christmas stuff until Easter, stuff like that. But in my family, we usually take it down just like two days after uh, Christmas, because then we decorate for New Year's Eve and stuff like that instead. So yeah, let's, uh, let's uh, talk to Marula. Mrs. Willie seems to be going out of her way to make Marula feel comfortable. Aww. That's really nice. I'm smiling completely. I test the young kids with decorating their rooms. And well, they were also sick. And I think there will be a lot of characters in one batch. And I hope I see them all. Um, Really hope I see them all before the whole thing is over. But I already got one wish granted that we went to the borrow. So I'm not asking too much. Because I already got my little wish fulfilled. So... That's really nice. Wait until you see our gnome on top of the Christmas tree. Oh yeah, we have to see that too. I feel bad for the gnome. <laughs> it's hard not be to be merry while putting up Christmas decoration. Yeah, that's true. It takes the whole family to put up all these decorations. Yeah, it's also a cozy thing to do together. I think if you live alone, unless you're a really big Christmassy person or a holiday person, it, it takes a lot to put up a lot of decorations because you're only that one. I usually only put up like four or five decorations. It's bit, and I'm actually, um, now this probably post Christmas that this is coming up, but uh, I held Christmas at my place this year. Um, and, uh, yeah, I only had, like, a little Christmas tree and some table decorations and stuff that I couldn't reach, because I was also still really sick <laughs> at the time, so I didn't want to, um, overdo it, so getting really sick so I couldn't have Christmas, I would rather have a minimalistic Christmas with the decorations, but still be able to have the energy with my family. That was more important to me. So let's listen. Be careful with the candles. Wouldn't watch uh, to catch fire. Did Fred and George set fire to a tree? Oh goodness gracious, I hope it. I, oh my. Those two, really. <laughs> Wait until you see what I'm doing with the gnome we caught. Oh no, I feel bad for the little gnome. Do make sure the new stockings are hung up by the chimney with care. Yeah. 
It looks like she, our character is conducting a symphony with her wand wavings. Like, hello, ta ta ta. I don't know. Looks like Mrs. Reason isn't going to let any of us sulk. No, of course not. We are in her house, and she is very merry. You will have to guess who all the stockings belong to once they are up. Uh, by the presents or by the letters. Usually many of the stockings, when you hang up a stocking, usually they have like names on them or knitted names or knitted... Uh, with, with Mrs. Weasley being happy with knitting, I believe that most of the stockings might actually have a initial on them. So yeah, there it is. This is really as recently as Selenia Volvo was his decorators. Yeah, but that's nice. Anyway. I bet you can guess what ornaments are mine. Are you saying they are out of dragons? Probably. They're probably made of dragons. Like, not made of dragons, but dragons illustrated. Is that Yorkshire pudding I smell? And bacon in the kitchen? I sure hope so. She like Yorkshire puddings? Oh, that's so sweet. I haven't had a Yorkshire pudding in forever. Since it's not really a 100% Scandinavian thing. But they are really good. It's They are really delicious. If they are made right, they're really delicious. I, at least I remember them fondly. So I should probably try and make them again someday. Just in my own pace and... Enjoy them, because you can eat them with savory and you can eat them with desserts, depending on the dough you use. So they're very versatile. Let's see here. Leave no room undecorated. That's my motto. I've never seen so many weapons in my life. Well, that's nice. She has a good experience as well. It sounds like it, at least. Work together. Oh, we're starting to circle with Bill. Okay. Cool. Hang with. We find pine needles around the house for months, but it's worth it. <laughs> Arthur is such a kind person, too. Molly oh dear, will you help me hang up this mistletoe? Oh, lovely dovely stuff. They're being lovely dovely. Let's ask the younger kids for taking right in. Okay, that one we also have. Watch. Mrs. Reese seems to be going out of the way. Okay, so it seems everyone is uh, is circling now, which is fine. Completely fine. Because we this is kind of like what I expected of an eight hour one that you almost at at the fourth star before you start circling the the conversations. This is what I expect of an 8 hour uh, well, one. So that's good. Let's decorate. While putting up Christmas decorations. That's true. And. Oh! We're out of energy. Our nerves! Good thing there was a lot of energy left at Hogwarts for us to go back and collect. Bit of a. bit of a time killer going back and forth between the decorations and getting uh, energy points. But hopefully, we do have enough for it. So we'll just take the biggest ones, as always. And I think I say this every time now, but eh, it's fine. We'll just have to wait and see here. And... Are we lucky enough to have a fiver? No. Okay. So we have a three. And a one and a two. So we have to wait a tiny bit. That's fine. We enjoy Christmas as Christmas are. Which one was the biggest one? Was it this one? No. It was this one. Okay. And do we have a. Oh, they're both ones. Uh oh. So I think. Uh. Are you a two? No, we have five. That doesn't work. Hopefully, this one is the last one. It is! Fantastic, so I timed it perfectly for once. 
uh, once they're hung up. Yeah. I still believe there might be initials on them, though. Oh, this is nice. Cozy, red and golden. Oh, I feel bad for him! At least it's not Vlad the Impaler style. That's positive. How long does Stupefy work? I'm just asking. If you didn't... If I didn't feel festive before, I certainly do now. <laughs> you boys did a fine job again with the Christmas angel on top of the tree. How original! He cannot even see it's a gnome? <laughs> right, angel. What was that, Charlie? Oh, nothing, Dad. It looks beautiful, Mom. Thank you. Oh yes, as you can see, in the background, there is stockings and one of them has run in it. Or an R, so I think it's runs. And not all of them have uh, initials on them. Hmm, so we have to guess stockings now? Don't thank me. We did all this together. Not all of it. I still opposed to the tinsel. I just wish I could have contributed with something more. Oh, we can see all the stockings now. Oh, let's see. Ah, uh, okay, only fronts have an R on it. So, is anyone with a dragon on it? No. I think the prop hole might be... Jenny's? That or the one with the blue flowers. Either that or they are in order. So, it's Jenny's, it runs. Uh, the twins, and then either Charlie, Bill, Percy, and then <coughs> Molly and Arthur. I do believe Percy, Percy is the oldest Disney. Or is he the middle child? I really can't play as Percy right now. I'm sorry, Percy. Ray, you don't have to bake or sing for us. You being here is enough. After all, isn't spending time with people you care about what Christmas is all about? Oh, thank you, Molly. Speaking of which, everyone come with me to the dinner table and bring your appetite. Ah, Christmas dinner will be starting soon. Ah, this is so fun. It's lovely. So let's see here. Christmas dinner is served in the kitchen of the barrow. Come and eat before it gets cold. Ah, I'm just gonna have a little look-see around, first of all. There's a dragon there, so that's Charlie's. So, oh man. I can't place if Percy or... Maybe Percy is the middle one, technically. And then Bill is the oldest, followed by Charlie, followed by Percy, followed by the twins, followed by Ron and Jenny. Right? Right? I don't know. Anyway, we will be having the glorious Christmas dinner next time. And until next time, guys, take care and have a fantastic day.